Yes, 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 yes. What's up, IG? Namaste. Listen, as you go into the weekend this week, I'm gonna do this real quick. I did a video for this on YouTube though. Hit my bio link. Also, if you don't have that free ebook, go grab it. It's kind of what this is, a, it's kind of what it's about. I was thinking about this weekend, like leveling up, man. How do we get you to a higher level? How do we get you to double your net worth? That'd be cool, right? Think of that, more protection for your family. You're gonna go on better vacations, drive nicer cars, live in better houses. That takes time. That's one of the aspects. But one of the things I want you to start thinking about is in the term of doubles. As a just as general thought, the way you look at the world, you're looking for doubles, man. You don't want to get a single. You don't want to hit and get on first base. You're trying to get on second base. Every time you hit, you get on second base, you're probably bringing in a runner. And so as a general rule, I'm thinking doubles all the time. And that's the second one is we're going to be thinking about the concept of time all the time. How does it apply? And you say, what do you mean a double and how quick? Three to five years. I'm trying to double every three to five years. That's putting me under the, the rule of 7.2. 7.2 is a rule with index funds. You put your money in an index fund and in 7.2 years, it'll double. I'm trying to beat that. That's not an aggressive beat. If I do it in three, that's aggressive. If I do it in five, it's not. You say, what does that look like? It could be something as simple as buying a house. I buy a house, I put 20% down, I put in a bunch of sweat equity, I get it up, I get it rented for cash flow, right? I'm making a couple hundred dollars a month. Three to five years later, I could go back, I could pull out my original money, I'm still gonna have 20% equity in this home, I'm still gonna be cash flowing, it might adjust some. What is that? That's a double. If I can do that again and again and again and again, you know, obviously you can, it starts to break down. But every investment, every house, I'm thinking in terms of doubling every three to five years. So if what's, let's say that I even, and I don't even have to pull that money out. I'm just saying you could, I could leave it in there. Maybe I add another bedroom. Maybe I find a way to add value. I increase the rent. That's just one example. Something else is, well, to this concept of going wide. Now this is my thing. Other people will disagree that I think you should go wide. So a guy gets to doing houses and he does one or two houses and he's just thinking houses. Okay, but you know what? There's other things that go with housing. Home Depot stock has been a fucking awesome. Low stock has been awesome. GE, Dow, DuPont, 3M, the tool makers. There's so much more to real estate than just buying houses. There's the mortgage brokers. There's stuff like A, G, and C, right? Pays an 8% dividend yield. What is this? This is me thinking, why? Pushing out on the spoke, man. This is the money flow. It's not just one thing, tunnel vision. Now there's, now focus. You hear me say this all the time. What you think about comes about what you focus on grows, yes. But also span it. One of the 10, uh, pillar number seven, 10 pillars of success. Let's see the big picture. So by adding width to the money flow, you, you, you see the abandoned house. You see the house that needs some love, but you, knock the door and get paid to mow the yard or to paint the house. Like you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're seeing the money all around you. It could be a gas station. It could be, um, why are all these people in line to get in this store? What does that store do? Which leads you to another idea or leads you to buying the stock. You just begin to think in terms of doubles and time and then thinking wide, seeing more opportunities that are available. We need to think in terms of assets for sure. And as you think wide, you're going to acquire more assets. Each time you acquire an asset, we're looking to double it, right? I'm looking to double it. So if I buy some A, G, and C stock, I'm looking for it to double every three to five years. You could just keep buying more. You could spend your whole fucking life buying this stock. And guess what? We're going to go wide. So we're probably going to have 50 stocks on that list. But that list takes time. It takes time for that to double. And during that three to five years, I'm going to buy some of, of this. Why? Because I'm thinking wide, right? And so all of these moves and these things that I'm making are inside of this bigger picture of this thing that I call the money flow. But none of this works if you don't start with the concept, I need to double. It's going to take time. I need to see the bigger picture. I need to be like a shark. I need to look. Is the move you're making going to double your entire net worth? So we get down here to liabilities, right? These are the things you buy that do what? This is reverse investing. This is the opposite of doubling. This is doubling the wrong fucking way. So if you go out and buy something 
and it takes you the other way, you're now living a life to actually go in reverse, not to accumulate, not to grow, not to expand, but to actually feed the people who are thinking money flow, doubling time with, you're feeding them. Like you're providing my dividends. You're providing the interest. You're paying me the rent. And so as I go about this world thinking doubling time, I need to go wide, I need different assets, I need to limit my liabilities, but here's the kicker. You could also just change how you see liabilities. There's people that own fancy sports cars and I'd say, no, you don't wanna buy that. And they rent them. <laughs> Does that get you closer to doubling? Fuck yeah. Does that take time? Of course, you gotta be able to get, have the good enough credit, you know, be in a place in life where they would even loan that to you in any kind of way that made sense. You're not gonna pay 10% on a car. There's people financing cars and you're paying 10%. Man, are you out of your fucking mind? That is the opposite of doubling your money. That is the opposite of putting time to work for you. That is the opposite of, that's going wide on liabilities. So if you're going wide on liabilities, and you mean, what do you mean by wide? I got this payment, I got that payment. I'm not talking about electricity. I'm not talking about food, we all eat, right? I'm talking about car payments, shit on credit cards. If you go on a fucking vacation on a credit card and you have to fund it, you are out of your fucking mind. You are doing the exact opposite of building wealth. You are literally the guinea pig. You are the milk cow that are providing the money for the rest of us. You are living foolishly. I can't say that any clearer. It is foolishness. And so I'm hoping that nobody listening to me would be doing that. If you are, you must immediately, this weekend, fucking instantly come to grips with how stupid that is and begin to check it. You don't need a Dave Ramsey class to know stupid. You don't need someone, and I see people do it all the time. I just didn't know. You didn't know the universe wanted you to be rich. You didn't know the universe wants you to grow and be abundant. You didn't know that God created you to have more. You needed someone to sit you down and literally look you in the face and hold your precious little hands and whisper that in your ear? No, you knew. So the very pillar number 10, take full responsibility. So where you sit, you're broke. You got all these liabilities. You got to take ownership of that shit. Get my book, it's free. I won't, I'm not going to ask for anything. You'll naturally go forward if you like it. If that helps you, you'll buy my next one. I won't even have to ask you. Because then you're going to start thinking about assets. See, if I get you to get rid of debt, you're going to start thinking about stocks. You're going to come back to me. <laughs> you're going to buy my stock book because I helped you. All of a sudden, you got some money. And you heard me say, hey, trick to money is having money. As soon as you have money you don't need, you can get rich. Anyone in America, anyone can get rich. Anyone, regardless of age or their race or their financial situation, it is all around you. The money flow is everywhere. And every day you interact with it with the decisions you make. What if you said, hey, I wanna get a beach house, Gerald? Ordinarily, I'd say, nah, how many rental houses you have? You'd say none, I'd say, what are you doing, man? Don't buy the Lambo until you got money coming in. Let other people buy the Lambo. Let your business sales buy it. Let your dividends buy it. Let your rent collection. You know who's buying my playhouses? R renters. Not me. Not my money. Their money. Because why? I'm thinking doubles, man. How do I double my money every three to five years? So, oh, I put 20 in. I get my 20 back. I get to keep 20 in. And I get paid. Now I get to go do it again. And then I think it again. And I'm always thinking it. And as I make moves, I want to make sure I'm not doing anything that's going against me. It's all coming to me. I need to position myself to receive, to be the receiver of the interest, the receiver of the dividends, the receiver of the rent, the collection. Be on the other side of the cash register. So go look. How are you living like that? I can't own every business, but I'm invested in 50 of them. <laughs> think of that. Back to the lake house and the boat. I said this was gonna be short and I lied. Sorry, man, I get excited about this stuff. We get the boat. Ordinarily, I'd say, hey, don't buy a boat. What are you doing? That's dumb. You can rent the boat. <laughs> you can rent the boat you bought. The world is different. You can go buy a beach house. Anybody can get a beach house. It's only $270,000, man. Go get a small one, anybody can do that. Put that shit on Airbnb. What do you need? Money for the down payment. That's it. The only thing between you and a beach house is fucking money. Why would you put so much going out 
Your kids could be playing right now. That's the memories they have is our beach house, our lake house, our hunting house. I don't know what it is for you. And the only reason they're not is you're not thinking double, wider, money flow. How do I level up? How do I do this? The moment you get into what I'm talking about, all of that opens up for you.